the sudden ubiquitous support with an assault weapons ban, from Obama to Pierce Morgan to Whoopi Goldberg, they all ask the same question. Why does anyone need a military style assault rifle that shoots 100 bullets in 100 seconds with 100 round clips? You want to take away our constitutional right, but you haven't bothered learning anything about what you want to ban. It's 2012 and you're still calling an AR-15 an assault rifle. My goodness, all you have to do is Google it or Bing it if you're nasty. Just make up a modicum of effort and learn about the piece of wood, metal, and plastic you're so scared of. How many times do I have to scream at the television as Miss Frankenstein holds up an AR-15 and calls it an assault rifle? Oh, and saying handguns are okay but semi-auto rifles are not doesn't make it reasonable. It just makes it questionably moronic. You want to bring a handgun to a rifle fight and you think that's a good idea? All it takes is five minutes on Google and an assault weapons ban advocate would learn that a semi-automatic rifle or assault rifle is the most effective tool for self-defense. For a good number of people, assault rifles look scary and intimidating and they can't understand why anyone would want or need a military style assault rifle that can kill so efficiently. Let me say this, if I'm not on the range and I have my gun out, chances are it's because I'm in a gunfight or are about to be. Why would I want to protect myself with something that's less effective than what the person who's trying to kill me with is using? I only carry a handgun because I can't effectively carry a semi-automatic rifle or fold an assault rifle. If I could carry the rifle everywhere I went, trust me, I would. No, for real. It's really that simple. An assault rifle does a better job defending me than a handgun does. The Second Amendment was established to allow us a means to protect ourselves from tyranny. Yeah, roll your eyes, snicker, call me a paranoid tinfoil hat wearing conspiracy theorist. But if on the day before 9-11 I told you two passenger planes are going to fly right into the Twin Towers, would you believe me? What are you going to do when three dudes with AKs kick in your door? You think a guy with an AK is scared of your Ruger LCP? So please stop insulting me with a no one's trying to take all your guns just the assault rifles argument. I don't want a Glock when they have an AK. I want an AK. There's nothing pretty about self-defense. It's ugly, it's nasty, and very scary. So I need something equally scary and intimidating to even the playing fields. This isn't about what makes me feel good or what makes you feel good and doesn't offend other people's sensibilities. It's about people's lives. There's no one in this country that can tell me that by banning assault rifles that they can guarantee that no criminal will be able to get their hands on one. And because of that, I want an assault rifle or a semi-automatic rifle. To be honest, even if you can guarantee that no criminal or nut job can get their hands on an assault rifle or semi-automatic rifle, I still want one because it would be me and other law-abiding citizens that have the advantage against the aforementioned. Call me crazy, call me insane, but just because evil isn't in your frame of reference doesn't mean that evil doesn't exist. I wouldn't need anything to defend myself if we lived in a utopian society. But guess what? We don't. We live in a world where people kill innocent people. And as human, not an American, but as a human, I have the right to defend myself against any attempted taking of mine, my family, or anyone that I care about lives. And that's why I need a semi-automatic rifle. Because it does a better job protecting me and my family than a handgun does. And in the words of Brandon from Mondano.com, when they come out with something better than an assault rifle or semi-automatic rifle, I'm going to want that too.